so with the recent sexual allegation against Melanie Martinez, I think it has brought to light truths that are so often overlooked, minimized, or demonized. Truths are false allegations. Whoa. And it's by those who have experienced these type of allegations. And people wonder why other people jump in defense. But first, I'll let Philip DeFranco tell you the story. And that is the story around Melanie Martinez and Timothy Heller. Martinez, if you don't know, is an artist that blew up after being on The Voice. And Timothy Heller is a friend of Martinez. She is an aspiring singer. Yesterday, she put out a post detailing a sexual assault by Martinez, writing, I have kept the secret for years, convincing myself that it wasn't a big deal and I wasn't hurt by it. The thought of accepting that my best friend raped me seems insane. Even typing that doesn't feel real to me. She then details one night when Martinez asked her about her sexual preferences, continually asking whether she would have sex with her. She writes that they were having a conversation, then she began asking me while in bed if I would have sex with her. While being incredibly uncomfortable by this offer, I attempted to laugh it off. I had a boyfriend at this time, and she knew that. He doesn't have to know. It's not a big deal. It went on for hours. I just wanted to sleep. I was exhausted. I attempted to sleep, but was kept up the entire night by my friend begging me to sleep with her. Then she says the next night it continues essentially the same way, but also writing, she convinced me to smoke weed, and since I have a hard time saying no to her, I comply. Then saying as she began to fall asleep, Martinez began touching her, and saying, can I just do this? Can I just touch your arm? Can I just touch your boobs? She wrote, I was so exhausted and confused and high and belittled, I just allowed it to happen. This led to her touching the rest of me. I never said yes, I said no repeatedly. But she used her power over me and broke me down. Just so there is no confusion, I was molested by my best friend. I lay still in shock, completely not reciprocated. She performed oral sex on me and then I was penetrated with a sex toy without being asked. And following this accusation, there was a massive reaction online. People started unsubscribing from Martinez in mass. Others shared videos and pictures of them destroying Martinez's merchandise. And after all of this, Melanie Martinez responded, writing, I am horrified and saddened by the statements and story told tonight by Timothy Heller. What she and I shared was a close friendship for a period of time. We came into each other's lives as we were both starting our careers as artists, and we tried to help each other. We both had pain in dealing with our individual demons and the new paths we were forging, but I truly felt we were trying to lift each other up. She never said no to what we chose to do together, and although we parted ways, I am sending her love and light always. So when you first hear the story, it sounds legit, so you believe it. Until Melanie Martinez comes in with her side of the story, then it triggers memories of false allegations and to know that these truths are out there. Because anyone can cheat and regret it, then turn around and claim rape. So now we're talking about due process, and it begs the question, how do you prove consent? Should a notary be present? Because how can you ensure that a sexual act where they received enthusiastic consent does not come back as a rape allegation? 